Now what we've got here is some educational video. I had some students learning to kite. This is their first, second day, week. Uh, they've, they've got mixed amounts of input and progression. Just new, just green. I'm calling their errors, showing their mistakes. I got it on video so that they could use it as a learning tool. But they said I could share it with you. So maybe you learned something from this video. This is what you did wrong, what you should have did better, how you can save your kiting schemes in the future. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Riley doing an inflation. Now, what did we see wrong? You see is O'Reilly hitting the brakes and the gas at the same time. And you don't get as much for it as you do when you hit the gas, then pump the brakes once you get speed. Step and then raise your, at your shoulder. You push up toward the sky. And what we're referring to here is the A assist technique for glider inflation, for when the winds are light but still reversible. Let's see what he does here. Give it a try. Overall, I rate it a pretty good A assist. He is pulling toward his belly instead of toward the sky, and he's putting a bend in here, which causes the wing to have a deformation on the front right there. When he lets go, boom, it pops out all is well, but it wasn't quite enough energy to bring the glider up. Here's an inflation, but he throws in a wrong move. Glider's going right, and boom, right there, pump of the left brake, which aggravated it. He realized his error and then immediately went to the correct move, but way overdid it and overpulled, reached as far as he could, stalled the glider, and it fell down. Left. And this is what I like to call too much too late. Right here, you can see the glider is going left. You got the wingtip rising, and right now, Riley finally pulls the left brake. Now he's moving that direction, but he's just late and then he goes really deep. Lane's doing pretty good in reverse. Let's see what he does when you put him in a forward position. Try and spin forward, Lane. Yeah, just stand there like you were. So let's see where it goes bad for Lane. He's pulling right brake, glider leans right, and now look, more right brake. Oh, <laughs> And that's a mistake that's very common to new pilots who are starting to learn forward technique. You gotta raise that low side brake. And if you raise the low side and then step to the right, well, you get under the wing and it recovers. Mr. Riley again, pumping the left brake while his glider's going right. He corrects, gets off of it, and saves it. Nice work. Let's see what he's doing here. There's gonna be a mistake right here. See him backing up the glider was going to his left and he was backing toward it. He's doing it again. Now he's turning his hips, dropping his left hand, raising his right, and look, glider recovers beautifully. Good. And this is also a common mistake. The amount of left brake line pulling through the pulley there. You see how he never really lets go of it all the way? You really gotta reach around to the other side with your left hand to get off of that left brake. Of course, if a glider's going to his left, he needs it. But look, now he's turning away, now he's turning toward. So you always got to be turning toward the glider with your hips. You can't turn away or the glider goes down. But see right now, it's going this way. Just reach around like this. Look here, right there. That's all you got to do is raise that left hand all the way and it quits going. See now, now you come into it. If it goes this way, you add a little left. More, 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 more. Walk into the wind more. And what I'm referring to there is all Riley has to do in this perfect situation is turn his toes about 90 degrees to his left where he's actually pushing into the wind and still with the left weight shift and left brake input. Walking toward the glider doesn't give you as much. But if it dips right, raise that left hand around and pull the right hand down some. Right hand down. Oh, yes. And this is the same situation. He's walking almost perpendicular to the wind. It did recover, but he could have done it in fewer steps if he had just angled around into the wind about 90 degrees to the right in that situation. As soon as you see it start to, start to go that way, apply a little pressure. That's all it takes to level it out. So hit it with a little more authority. Boom, and it comes up good. And then you balance it there. Nice. Into the wind, 
a little more into the wind. Raise that left hand all the way. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Yes, turn, run, turn, run, turn, run. Okay, you're a little late. See how you planted? So he's doing great. He's walking right, wings going right. He's got some left hand though, and then he stops walking. He still holds the left hand, the glider's still going down. He pulls more left hand, and he starts backing away from the wing. Oh no, two wrong moves don't make it work. He's still locked up. If he had just turned right and ran. Yeah, now he's doing it, but he's a little late. The glider's already face down on the ground. Good try, Lane, good try. This wing has a tendency to sort of belly flop anyway. There you go. And remember, just turn which way it leans. Just twist your hips in the direction the glider goes. And then don't, don't forget to raise the low hand. <laughs> so if it goes to your right, you need to raise that left hand all the way around and touch your wrist on that. And just to pick on Lane a little bit more since it's his first day, the white glider's going right. He's starting to go that way, he's t but he's side saddling. I see a lot of people do this side saddle kind of, they don't twist their hips, they just sort of walk sideways. It works overall. Bad form though, better to twist. And here's a case of inappropriate break on the right side. So his right hand, look, I tell him to put his hand up. He puts his hand up, but look where it's at. Still pulling six inches of brake. He stops walking. Glider's still going down. Now he's doing the perfect thing. He's got left hand. His hips are good. He's trying to turn out of it. He's trying to turn out of it. Nope. Nope. It's not going to. Now he's going back in it. Now it's working. Now it's working. Now it's working. He's trying to turn out of it. Not working. Not working. Now he's. Oh, he's turning out. He's turning out. Oh, he's turning in. He's turning in. Now he's running in the wind. He's got the left hip down, the left hand down, the right hand up. The glider's coming back. He's going to win this one. He's going to win this one. The crowd goes wild. Good job, Lane. Now, once you're there, you want to get squared up. See how you're standing sideways? Well, correct. Left, 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 left. Other left, other left. You got your right hand buried. Raise that right. No, no. So if your glider is to your left, you don't want any right hands. If, you, if you're pulling that right hand down, you got about 10 inches of right break. That's why the glider's upside down on your left. It's because you were applying right break instead of left. You just, just jump straight back. Like, okay, now it's going right. Pump the brakes and pop that tip maybe. There it goes. Now it's going right. Turn right, pull right. Raise your left. All the way. There you go. See it coming to you now. Nice. Don't overthink it. Just left, right. It's going right. There you go. Turn, pull, and then release the left, and it'll come back. Still going right. You see it goes six inches. Make your move. And it's, yeah. the quicker, the more you got it straight overhead, the more you want to be kind of squared up with it, balanced. There you go. As the wind changes, then you're going you're gonna to make these little adjustments. More right. There you go. Everything looking pretty good here. These brothers from Las Vegas, Nevada, Riley and John. That's it. Y'all gonna have a kiting war. <laughs> <laughs> so just after a couple of lessons, just two, like he was here maybe an hour in the evening before and this is the next morning. He's able to basically fly the glider in reverse position. Still got a little work to do on forward. Even the day, later this day, he did better. No footage of that. Well, we're not gonna learn very much if you don't make any mistakes, Lane. So you go left to go forward, right to go back in. And we want that move kind of dialed in. Yeah. Look ahead, eyes forward about 50-50. And if you feel anything go weird, just turn back around. You could probably stand still and kite the wing. Just raise your hands up all the way up to the pulleys and just let the glider fly. You can just stand there basically. There you go, a little dab, step, turn around. Other way, turn around. Control left, 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 no, left, left. Walk, walk, walk. Yeah, I got it. You see, when you did the proper correction, the glider flipped around on its tail, perfect. Let's talk about giving up too early. Here's Lane doing the wrong input. The glider's about to take a nose dive, but look, right here, he corrects it and commits and he starts running. And even though the glider's going down, it goes down ready to go for the next inflation. Because he didn't just give up and watch it face plant, he's able to pull it right back up into the wind. Very nice. Nice correction, Riley. One more, just like that. 
Oh yeah. That's your forward kiting. That's the best I think I've ever seen you do it. Ah! All right, turn around, turn around. Control left. And this is where he's doing everything perfect. Hips, left hand down, right hand up. All he's gotta do is start walking. There you go, you walk. Easy on the brake, yeah, he stalled it. But he went too deep. Did look at how much of the glider is bent. Maybe a third of the cord is being pulled violently. It can't fly that way. You gotta give it the right amount of brake. There he goes, raise your right all the way up now. Yeah. And then watch what happens. He's got that three inches pulled on his right hand. Watch this, as soon as he gives it back, the glider quits going down. Look at here, boom. He doesn't take another step. Now the glider is just floating and he does his correction. Step, 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 and boom, correct. You gotta give up that last little bit. So crucial for good kiting. Oh, fun. All right, going left, raise your right, there you go. And just walk, 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 walk. Yeah, see those two steps. All it takes is two steps and boom, you've got it. Yeah. There you go. Raise your right up. Ah, see? It's that last little bit. It makes all the difference. Raise that left. Reach around. No, no. Reach around with your left hand. Reach around with your left hand. Get off the left. Yeah. Okay, now walk. Walk, 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 walk. Don't pull the left. Don't pull the left. Don't pull the left. There you go. If it's ever leaning over, you never, ever, ever want to add any left brake input. And once again, he goes to this habit of turning and backing up to get under the wing. See, it's going right. I mean, left, turn left. Look at there, boom. Just twist your hips a little bit and you get a lot out of it. Reach around with your left now. Yeah, yeah, now pull the right, pull the right. Keep walking, watch this. Don't pull deep, just a little, just a little. Don't back up, don't back up. Walk into the wind, walk into the wind. Yeah, okay, square up, square up, lay it down. Let's talk self-evaluation for a moment. So how you know if the kiting was successful? The glider lands on its tail straight into the wind. Yeah. That tells you that you were making the correct inputs as the glider was going down. Yeah. If it's upside down on the side, you were making incorrect inputs yeah. as the glider went down. So that's how you can grade yourself. So reach around with that left hand, Lane. There you go, all the way around, all the way around. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. If it dips to your right, that's your first move is to let off of that left pressure. Now let off the right pressure. And when it comes back, you can add them all back even again. Yeah. For the turn. Okay, here we go. Don't pull the brakes. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Uh-oh. You got it. It was just hung on something. Look at this guy. I feel like a, level I, up for Raleigh. Like level a, up for Raleigh. I, I feel like a Chinese, uh, you know, tour. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <Me, me how? laughs> All right, let's watch Riley after his level up. Glider's drifting right. He's not paying attention. Look, his reaction was perfect. Yeah, a little heavy, but he let off of it just in time. What's Lane doing over here? Looks like he's going to his right. And he made the correct move. Oh, he stopped walking. I wish he'd kept walking. Not bad. Now avoid pulling the glider back to you. See, you're, you're doing all the right moves. That's why it survived. But the bad habit that gets instilled there is you're relying on the wind. Yeah. When you get the wind to, to be half speed as it is, yeah. if you're not taking those steps, then the glider will stall instead of come back to you. And you're like, damn, this used to work. <laughs> yeah. So step, step, step. Get under the middle with your feet. Yeah, there you go. The quicker you can step under it, the less force the wind has to act on the glider. So you're burning field again. Try to hold your ground here and just go left and right. Step under it, step under it, step under it. Don't let it dangle off to the side. See how it's four feet to your left? Keep going, keep going. So you're bringing it back. Oh, past you. Now to your right two feet, out there. All right, find the, find the wind, center it up. That's the goal. Always the goal is to get it turned, centered right over your head. Once you're there, it's level, even controls. That means the gusts will be picking up. Within minutes, when you get a little bright flash of sun like that, yeah. it'll heat everything. And now the dew's still drying, so that's gonna keep it numbed a bit. Raise that left, raise the left, raise it, raise it. Now run, now run. Oh, too much. Almost, you're burying your right one though. 
you know, this kind of situation goes with drugs as well. You do the wrong ones is bad. Yeah, you're going down hard. But let's do the right drugs. Let's throw in right break. Okay, now he's doing good, but he took too much. Look how hard he's pulling. Glider stalled, spun out. Don't take too many drugs, kids. The right amount only will get the job done the way it's supposed to. Two's not always better than one. Sometimes four will kill you. Oh, good data collection. Good data collection. Raise that low side up a little. Just right hand up, three inches. Not both hands, just your right hand. Okay, now switch. <laughs> All right. Nice. Nice. Kept it stable the whole time. But if it dips to the right, the first thing you want to do is just reach around with your left hand and right. put it put it on top right now. Right now. No, left. Oh, Pull your right. No, reach around. Reach around. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's it. Now just walk. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Yeah. No, you're too a little too early. See, it's still going right. Raise your left. Now pull right. Walk. Get the glider pointed back towards this side of the field here. More right. More right. More right. More right. More right. Wait on the left. No, no, no left. No left. No left. Leave off the left until we call it. Okay. First, let the glider swing to your right. I mean, to your left. Now, add some left. There you go. Oh, I got gotcha. you. There you go. That, that was a ha, 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 ha moment. There you go. That's why we out here practicing. That's what yeah. we learned. Raise that left hand up. There you go. Look at your wind sock. That's going to be what's coming. Starting to get thumpy. That's that sunshine we saw a while ago. Oh, yeah. There's Joe, y'all. We're waiting on it to calm down. I thought I would edit this video. Learn something from it. Maybe you learned something from it too. I hope so. We'll catch y'all real soon in the next one. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. Much love, y'all. Call out. <laughs>